Ready to decide. All right, let's get it out of the way. Why why are you cutty? Where does that come from? Um, see, when I was born, my auntie and my mom, it was it's really two reasons. So the first reason was it was a toy at McDonald's back then in 2002. I don't know nothing about it. And it was like it was called a cutie put or whatnot. And the second reason was it was this movie and the guy was smooth as butter. So my mom and them was like I was smooth as a kid. So ever since I was a baby, everybody called me Cuddy, even my professors. So when I heard that, I was like, yeah, it's real. Um, so well, how, how's camp been going for you? Um, when we've seen you out there, you've been working, looks like with the first group of cornerbacks since you came back from your, your injury, how have things uh, progressed for you? Uh, Man, since? everything progressed day by day. Like we learn something new every day and our coaches do a real good job of just explaining the small things to just make us understand this, how we're going to do that. So it's been coming along real well. What made you decide to come from uh, South Alabama to Arkansas, just enter the portal and, uh, and what led you here? Do you think? Um, I kind of left South Alabama to just, you know, expand my horizon to just get, okay, he didn't play in the G5. Now let's see what he do against the big dogs. Because everywhere I didn't went, that was the underdogs, every school I didn't went to. So just when I heard Argus, I was like, man, I met Coach T-Will, Coach Wilson, Coach Wilson. I was like, yeah, they family orientated. And I'm a family orientated person. So once I saw that, I was like, yeah, we're going to make something happen. Surely. If you had a chance to talk to some of the other players on the team about playing Oklahoma State, because, I mean, you guys did that last year and took yes, that film pretty good over there. Yes, sir. Oh, I was telling them all meetings early. I was like, hey, they line up in there. This going to come. So we looking at film. I'm like, I told you they finna do that right now. So all the players, they – and one thing I like about the DB group here, everybody are listening here, and everybody got their own characteristics. So that really stand out to me here for surely. Sure. With you, Jaquindon, and Braylon, I know this – the other guy, Rod, and Tim. Terrell, too, but how do you feel about the running back room, especially maybe the top three there? I mean, you feel like you guys are ready to carry the load? Yes, sir. I feel like we all bring something different to the table. Like, we're well around the room. Everybody's diverse. Are you feeling better now? I mean, I think you missed a little bit of time with some banged-up injuries. Or you're... Yes, sir. I'm 100%. Rashad, we've had a lot of guys who were on the team last year who talk about the camaraderie being better and all. What's your take on, like, the overall team – attitude about this season i feel like everybody come ready to work every day like both sides of the ball like you if you don't come ready to work it's gonna show on you <laughs> it's gonna show <laughs> um what have you liked about having jaquindon jackson in the room and what are his strengths as a running back yeah i love him that's my brother you know his strengths are like power <laughs> you what six two two fifty hey. <laughs> come on man gotta get out of his way rashad uh Rodney comes in. Y'all are both Georgia running backs. I think the same class too. He says yes, y'all known each other. How far back do y'all go? Yeah, high school. How did? What's like your first memory? I guess with Rodney. Yeah, probably seven on seven camp, like Cam Newton camp. What has he done since he's gotten here? What do you think he brings to the room? He uh he keep everybody. He try to help keep everybody together. Like he talked to everybody. Like from the walk ons to it. like the whole room get along well. So. It just if y'all was in the media room, y'all are like it. <laughs> uh Cuddy, it's you know, you spent one year at, you know, community college and then make the jump to South Alabama and then the jump from South Alabama to here. Maybe what were the biggest things maybe that you improved on for both jumps for getting to the to the next level at South Alabama and then what allowed you to make that jump here to Arkansas? Um, just from JUCO to D one, I just had to learn that I gotta learn how to practice now. Cause JUCO every day was I'm ready to work. Everything will be hard every day. So once I got the D1 and all the professional people just telling me you got to practice this way and practice that way, I said that was the only thing. And that was an easy transition because in JUCO, everything was hard. All we knew was work hard, work hard. And my coaches tell me to this day, they try to teach me how to slow down because I'm going to work hard in everything I do. So they still teach me, like, practice like a pro. And I know how to practice like a pro, but it's just I got that edge on me, that fire on my shoulder, that chip that's – it just stuck there from JUCO. So I think JUCO and just from South Alabama to here was just learning the small things like, okay, I'm going to learn what my safety guy right here. And once I learn what my safety guy, I'm going to try to learn what the linebackers and the D-line are doing. So I feel like my defensive coach, they try to do a real good job of just trying to, like I said the first time, expand my horizon on the defense, just helping me become closer to being a pro. Yes, sir. And Rashad, uh, we've seen you guys at the running backs working a lot, you know, running routes, catching passes and stuff. Just how exciting is the prospect of that, especially a Bobby Petrino offense? It seems like he's going to get y'all involved. Yeah, Coach Petrino offense is, like, exciting to see. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a show.
we're gonna bring a show. Yeah, Cuddy, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about Oklahoma State. I mean, obviously that was a huge upset, and you guys just didn't beat them. You beat them pretty soundly, as I recall. I was reading you had a pick, set up a touchdown. What just what do you remember about that game? And then is it exciting to go back there again? Um, the first thing I remember when I think about that game is I should have scored. That's the first thing. But the second thing is overall just going back for another year is knowing that, okay, they know Cuddy coming back. So now I just got to do everything that I didn't do the first time, learn from what I didn't do the first time I played them to what I think they'll do now. So I feel like when we go back this time, it's going to be a domination. When you got here and you saw they were on the schedule, what what, what was your initial reaction? I said, oh, this is two years in a row. <laughs> I say, let's do it. Then I got to go back in there. So let's go. Yeah, Rashad, you're – you got a new uh, position coach. You got a bunch of new running backs. You're kind of the the the, the guy that's that came back, uh, that that had gotten reps. Kind of what, what what's it like being the you know the, the the guy in a room where pretty much everybody else is is new. Yeah, it's just respect thing. I respect everybody. Everybody respect me. So we all get along pretty well. We all treat each other like family because we family. We all uh, got a brotherhood. We all break bread together, eat together. Hang out outside of football. That's what mattered the most. Yeah. Hey, Rashad. So Sam Pittman said that inst instilling a toughness was very important to him for this team. That maybe he didn't have as much last year. What do you think about the way camp has been conducted in terms of trying to be a tougher team? Yeah, I could say this year camp was more physical. Yeah. Exactly. And, and how? And what have you seen from that aspect of things being more physical, tougher, and all that? Ah. Uh, Tough is number one on our – where we go by ETH, embrace the hog. Tough is number one. So, tough ain't no problem for us. So, if you think we're going to come and not be tough, that's a – got another thing coming. So, I know Coach, he preached real highly on tough. So, tough together them the first two. So, we're going to be tough, but we're going to be together at the same time, like take care of our teammates or whatnot. So, that's just how we coming. If y'all yes, stayed indoors all day, this is two days in a row, I think, inside. How's that felt after the big scrimmage on Thursday, if y'all could both address it? I, it kind of, it felt good. Like, I don't complain about nothing. So, I just be like, okay, we inside today. So, I just go along with it, for real. Yes, sir. It's just like getting your legs back on you, basically. Taking care of your body. Yeah, for, for, for both you guys, you know, Monty Harrison's gotten a lot of attention being an older guy, I guess he just turned 29. I know they did some in front of the team, I think, because it was a week ago. So now he's 29 a week. So I just wonder, what, what have, have you guys gotten to know him very well? And if so, kind of what, what, what's your take on, on Monty? I go, for I go against Monte every day almost. And my play style, uh, me and Monte, we go at it sometimes. Like, I be trying to be like, come on, uh, I'm going to get you today. They'll be like, all right, we're going to see. So, just when Monte came, it's just the maturity he got and just him really knowing ball. And the fire that I play with, I know for a fact that, okay, I'm finna catch him up on how we play today. I'm going to talk to him how I'm going to talk to them in the game. We're going to see. I'm going to see is he going to come from back in the day to this generation and see what's up. So <laughs> that's just how I approach Monte every day in practice. Uh, how, how, does he give it back to you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Monte's strong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, sir. How, how, how good do you think he is? Um... You know, every receiver have different, like, physicals. Like, Monte, that big physical. I say I say his number one route is a hitch. His hitch is, hey, if you're not, you're not ready, you're going to go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, you're going to go too. for a ride if you ain't ready on the hitch. And, and Rashad kind of has – he's on your side of the ball. What, what yes, sir. Mean? On the offensive side, I see him, like, bringing, like, a leadership role. Like he hold everybody accountable. He making sure when you're walking out the field and making sure everybody getting to practice on time, stuff like that. Cuddy, when you came back from your week, it's not every day that a guy comes back off injury or whatever and is running with the ones immediately, mm -hmm. but you even did it in a green jersey. I wonder what it's maybe you felt like you'd accomplished to that point to be with the starters the first day you got back. Um, I won't say accomplishment, but I try to be updated on everything. Like even when I'm out, I try to support my teammates the best I can. I'm pretty sure y'all probably saw that video on Twitter. I was dancing when my teammate made the play. But that's just me every day. Like, I support my teammates when I'm not on the field, when I'm on the field. So when I was just out there with the ones, I was like, okay, I just got to step up, be a leader. So even when I'm not in the game, support whoever in there for me. That's how I approach that. I was just going to ask what on your right forearm it says hog. That's my dad name, Bohog. Bohog. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Did that play any like any thought? When uh, when I first got here, when I first got here, Coach Pittman saw it. He was like, "Oh, you must have meant to be." I was like, "Hey, must have meant to be a hog." And they called me David Bo, where I'm from. Yeah. So yes, sir. So your what, what's your dad's name? Marcus Robinson. Marcus. How did he get the name Bohog? My dad was a truck driver, a great one at that. So <laughs> every time I used to be in a truck, they used to be like, "They go hog." And you know, when you driving in the woods, it's a lot of mud. My daddy never got stuck in no mud in the woods, so they called him Bohog. Gotcha. So I don't get stuck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>